Hey guys, it's Crystal. Uh, it's Sunday, and um, <clears throat> round two in this video. Um, I made the first one, and I just watched it, and I didn't like it, so I'm going to make another one. Um, I'm sick today, so I grounded myself, um, and I'm taking some echinacea pills. Um, I love these things, and um, some decongestion pills so that it doesn't spread anywhere else. It's in my throat currently. Hopefully it'll stay there. Um, so I took the day off from everything and stayed in bed, and I don't like staying in bed. I hate it. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's like a put me in a cage or something. I can't do that. Um, but uh, I think my body needed it. It's telling me I need to to rest some. So I guess that's what happened when you keep running and running and running, and um, and uh, you just get sick. And that's your body's way of telling you you need to you need to rest me. <laughs> Um, <coughs> anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update, um, I, uh, I, um, about what's going on. Um, I recently, uh, thought of this, um, memory I, I used to have, uh, that I had forgotten about. I used to have a security blanket, and I don't know if you guys did, um, when you were younger, but... Uh, if you took it everywhere with you, you held on to it, you dragged it around with you, you sucked on the corner of it as you were falling asleep, and um, and when you woke up the next morning, it was like all wrapped around you, and and um, it was just it was just safe. And um, I know I played with mine. I did everything with it. It dragged in the grass, in the mud, e everywhere. Um, so as time went on, obviously it, it had tears in it and rips and stains and the patches on it were falling off and um, eventually it looked like one big rip, um, pretty much. And um, I know I told everything. I, I gave this blanket everything that I had. I gave it my fears, my happiness, my, my tears, my um, just everything. and. Um, Nothing else mattered but this security blanket. And when somebody tried to take it away from me, um, I panicked. I cried. I threw a fit. I didn't know what to do. It was like it was so painful. And um, and so um, one day I woke up and my security blanket was gone. And I panicked. I cried for days. I couldn't sleep. I didn't know what to do. Nobody would tell me where it went. And um. Somebody get rid of my security blanket. And I was forced to deal with feelings that I didn't want to deal with. I was forced to grow up a little bit. Um, and sometimes, as a younger person, people have to do that um, to help us along in life. And um, now that I'm older, uh, I realized that um, my security blanket was actually... <coughs> security blankets can, can really do some damage to your soul if you hold on to them and um, it holds you back from from life and uh, this life that we have is so short and uh, and we shouldn't waste it really um, on on holding on to things and uh, the reason why I'm saying this is that um, I have a couple of friends um, and my ex uh, who is um, holding on to the past and um, they're dwelling in the past and uh, <coughs> it's 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 a hope for them that uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know what it is but uh, my ex uh, contacted re me recently and um, uh, they they're trying to contact me online, on Facebook. They want to be a part of my life, and uh, I don't want that poison around me. I want my my air to be fresh. I want my thoughts to be clean. I want my laughter to be pure. Um, I don't want it to be fake like it was the last two and a half years. Um, that part of my life is over, um, and it hurt. It really did. It hurt for the last year, for sure. Um, because I didn't want to let go, and I didn't know how to let go, but it was my decision, and, um, <clears throat> and finally I just did it, 
And when I did it, the relief that I had um, was more than I can put into words right now. And um, it's different for when people break up with you and when you break up with them. Um, because when I broke up with, with this person, um, it was a relief to me. But they were so blinded by um, the fact that things were not going well, that, that we weren't meant to be together. And they're still holding on to the hope that, um, that their security blanket will be fixed. And um, it's not going to be fixed. Um, it got taken away from them. And uh, I don't want that to be anywhere near me. And so for those who... I feel bad for people who are in relationships, one person breaks up with the other one, and the person that didn't break up with them, um, there's an emptiness in there, I know. I've, I've been uh, broken up with, and uh, it's hard to let go of sometimes, it really is. Um, and it's not fair to those people who dwell on the past and dwell on that one person. Um, it's just, it's not fair. It really isn't. You're not helping your soul. You're not helping your life. You're not... There's so much more that you can do. Um, just let it go. Stop breathing in the poison. Stop torching yourself. And uh, that's my... Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> if that's what you're doing, and uh, <coughs> I don't know, you know, how many people out there are in the, in the same situation, but um, just let it go. I know it's hard, but um, it's not fair to you and your better people than what that relationship meant. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I'm sure this video is long enough, and uh, that's pretty much my point. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, have a good week, and um, I will talk to you later. Alright, bye.